I'll just come out and say it. If you don't know the internet plan that you're currently signed up for, you can't truly assess the performance of your home network. Although this might sound easy, determining what internet plan you're signed up for is not always an easy task. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be explaining how you can find out what internet plan you're currently signed up for, and I'll also detail why it's so important when it comes to assessing the performance of your home network. What most people do to assess the performance of their home network is they go online, they Google speed test, and they run a speed test for their internet connection. From there, people generally make an assessment about the performance of their internet connection and their home network. But my question for you is, how do you know if the speed that you're getting during that speed test is good or not if you don't know what speed you're supposed to be getting from your internet service provider? For example, let's say you run a speed test and you currently are getting 100 megabits per second of bandwidth from your internet provider. This looks very different depending upon two different internet plans that you might be signed up for. For example, let's say you run a speed test and you're currently getting 100 megabits per second of bandwidth from your internet service provider. This performance looks really good if you're currently signed up for an internet plan that provides you with 100 megabits per second from your internet service provider. It's an entirely different story if you're currently signed up for a 600 megabits per second internet plan, you're paying a high amount every month, and your devices are only getting 100 megabits per second. This is precisely why we need to know what our internet plan is. So we can make that assessment of, okay, is the speed that my devices are getting, is that appropriate based upon the internet plan that I have, or is there more going on here? Okay, so how do we do this? How do we determine what the internet plan that you're currently signed up for is? The place where you need to go is the monthly bill that's sent to you from your internet service provider. So depending upon what you've signed up for, this may come in the mail, it might be an email, or in some cases you might just have to log into your online account with your internet service provider. With that being said, even with your internet plan bill in your hands, it might not be as easy as you think to find out what speeds and what plan you're signed up for. Let's take a look at my internet bill so I can show you exactly what I mean. Here's what my internet plan bill looks like. I actually had to go to the third page in order to get the information I'm looking for. Even more than that, even looking at this page, it's not exactly straightforward. So let me zoom in for you to show exactly what I'm talking about. So here, let's zoom in, take a closer look. Where we're looking is right here. Download as fast as 500 megabits per second. So this right here, as you can see, it's kind of small print. It shows that my current download speed for my internet plan is a maximum of 500 megabits per second. So the question is, why is it so hard to see the download speed that's provided by your current internet plan? I have some theories about this. I think first and foremost, a lot of times you're not going to get that maximum promised bandwidth from your internet service provider, especially if you live in urban areas and you have a lot of neighbors around you with a similar internet plan using the same internet service provider, chances are you're not going to be getting that maximum bandwidth that the internet service provider promises. I think that's why they might slide it into your bill and not make it quite obvious what that maximum promised speed is. To be honest with you, this whole topic is another separate video in and of itself, so we'll leave it there for now. Another thing you might notice about this bill is it lists the download speed that comes with my internet plan, but it doesn't say anything about the maximum upload speed promised by your internet plan. What's a real pain is you actually have to call your internet service provider in order to get this information. I logged into my online account, I looked at my bill, this information is nowhere to be found. So this is something you should do if you truly want to evaluate both the upload and download speed that's promised by your internet plan. Once you have both of these numbers, I encourage you to go and run a speed test and then make an evaluation. This information and this comparison can be very useful because it can tell you, number one, maybe I can scale up or scale down my internet plan 
without having an impact on my internet performance. On top of that, it will tell you if the speed you're getting is a lot lower than the speed promised by your internet plan, perhaps you have home network devices that can't support the current internet plan you're signed up for. You'll wanna take a look at your modem and router and make sure they can support the bandwidth that you're getting from your internet plan. If you have any questions about this or it's still a little bit unclear to you, please drop a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. This increases the audience that the video gets shared with and increases the probability that there are others that are helped by watching it as well. Lastly, if you like the topics that I cover in my videos and the way that I present this information, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and join me for the ride here as I continue to put out more tips and tricks for your home network. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.